Good afternoon. Uh, my respected teachers, chairpersons, moderator, and all the audience. Good afternoon, everybody. Uh, and thanks, Dr. Schumann. He's a very good friend of mine. Half of my job already uh, been uh, done by uh, Dr. Schumann. Thank you. So my topic is heart team approach in cardiac intervention. So what is heart team? Heart team actually it encompasses clinical or general cardiologists. Usually that uh, patient is started uh, to be treated from here, then interventional cardiologist, cardiac surgeon. At the same time, anesthetist, intensivist, others like internist, neurologist, nephrologist, and other specialties sometimes involved here. But primary members are the general cardiologist, interventional cardiologist, and cardiac surgeon. Uh, in 2010, her team approach was first incorporated in ESC guideline for revascularization. And in 2012, ACCR guideline also incorporated the heart team approach in a special situation of revascularization. If we see before, uh, just long back, when oh, in the era of CABG, that was the best and sometimes only option for complex coronary artery disease. But nowadays, the situation is a bit different. And heart team approach get special attention when Syntex trial that was published in 2009, and afterwards it was discussed a lot, that is a trial which shows that CABG is better for multivessel disease for long-term survival or mortality benefit. And with the, and with the Syntex trial, the multidisciplinary team approach become very much hot topic at that time. Before that, oncology is the subject where multidisciplinary approach was practiced from long before. And after introduction of the tower, means transcatheter aortic valve replacement, the art team approach get its more importance with further acceleration. Now, the situation is a bit different in 2020. Rapid advancement of the PCI technology, stent technology, and pharmacotherapy, especially the higher, very potent antiplatelet drugs, good anticoagulant, good stent technology, especially second generation and subsequent uh, biodegradable uh, polymer containing stent, as well as, as well as intravascular image technology, the PCI become a very advanced stage. So, CABG become less option in majority of the cases. Though, the, my friend was talking about the FAME study, but that was a very old study when the first generation stenting was used, when the uh, PCI technology was not so much improved. That time, it shows that CABG is better for long and short term. But now, if someone start study, the situation may be changed. What are the principles of heart team approach? This is the commitment for the excellent or best treatment to the patient. Sometimes, better treatment is better than the best treatment. There is a proverb that good is sometimes enemy of the better. So, in your own perspective, in your own resources that are available, in your own skill, you have to try for the best for the patient. Mutual understanding among the team members and respect to each other is very important in heart team approach. At the same time, good colleagueability uh, uh, is there. Always remember, surgeons and the cardiologist should be friend. On should be complementary to each other. Never should be enemy or competitor. Revascularization 
as we know, that can be done by PCI, CABG, and in certain situations, guideline-directed medical therapies or pharmacotherapy might be option in many cases of coronary artery disease and ischemic heart disease, especially stable coronary artery disease. And approach should be chosen as per skill, support, and resources available in a particular institute and situation, and patient's socioeconomic condition and general health status as well. So socioeconomic status of the patient is very much important, as my friend already described it. There are three different settings of ischemic heart disease. On its stable coronary artery disease, where the syntax score is very much important to assess before going to the surgery, before going to the PCI or medical therapy. Because there is no hurry, patient is stable. But in acute ischemic cases, the situation is different. Primary PCI in the culprit lesion should be the option, first option, as early as possible. Even with suboptimal result, patient will get benefit, benefited. And the patient may be referred for surgery subsequently, maybe on the next day or day after uh, tomorrow like this. In case of non-ST situation, that is the unstable angina, acute uh, non-STEMI and unstable angina, the situation is in between the stable coronary artery disease, acute MI. It is seen that 75 to 80 percent of the patient are benefited with PCI in these circumstances, 25 percent patient are the candidate for CABG. So if heart team approach is not followed in these circumstances, around 20-25% patient may be maltreated or undertreated. So in this situation, obstacle for the surgeon is potent DIPT, like ticagrelor and prasugrel. The factor that should be considered during her approach is lesion factor first, patient factors, socioeconomy of the patient, and procedure related factor. Left main disease, these are the conditions where the surgery is better for long-term mortality benefit. Left main disease, especially left main distal and bifurcation lesion. Bifurcation lesion in any higher heart, the side branch is big. CTO lesions, calcification in the, especially diffuse calcification, and any patient with high syntax score. Patient factor, especially comorbidity of the patient, elderly patient, Frail patient, old stroke, lung disease, CKD, CLD, bleeding diastasis, malignancy like this. At the same time, LV ejection fraction, aortic aneurysm, calcified or porcelain aorta should be considered before going to the surgery. This is the risk score. Syntax score and STS risk score. STS risk score is important for the surgeon. On the other hand, syntax score is very much important for the cardiologist before going to the uh, intervention. Three risk factor that is not described, that should be also calculated in some situation, like patient with liver disease, patient with frailty and malnutrition. Socioeconomic condition, low socioeconomic condition, Always, any complex or multivessel PCI should be treated with CAVG because subsequent cost of the antiplatelet and other agent may be very much uh, unaffordable for the patient. At the same time, there in complex PCI cases, there is a cases there is a chance of stent thrombosis if anyhow antiplatelet are stopped. So in this situation, CAVG is a better option. On the other hand, in high-class people, especially for medical legal aspect, heart team approach is very much important. There is a proverb. This group of patients, risk people, they are treated, over-treated for the silly region, and many cases, they are under-treated for a grievous disease like malignancy. Heart team approach is very much important for patient suspicion as well as medical legal aspect in this group of patient. Post-procedure factor should be considered, especially before doing PCI. Many patients may need early surgery, sometimes emergency surgery like prosthetic surgery, that may be the gallstone disease, colonic surgery, neurosurgery, or surgery for malignancy. In this situation, I think surgery, sometimes in the same CABG setting, gallstone surgery is, uh, that is practiced in our uh, institute, and there is a good case history there. 
So heart team approach is a class on indication for optimal treatment where the treatment strategy is unclear and in case of any complex coronary anatomy. So there are common misconceptions regarding these four things. On his diabetes, CKD, poor rejection fraction is. There, is multiple, there are multiple trials that prove that this group of patients better benefited with the surgery, like diabetic patient, CKD, poor rejection fraction. Because chance of ISR or stent failure is very high in this upper three group of patients. On the other hand, in the poor ejection fraction, there are multiple studies that multivessel PCI does not improve the mortality, does not improve the ejection fraction of the patient. It may reduce the angina only. So, Patient should be at the center of the heart team approach. That may be the pre-procedure or pre-surgery and post-surgery. Deferred vascularization, sometimes it is very much helpful. My teacher, Professor Farooq Ahmed, he sometimes uh, do this. And I think this is a very good approach when the patient is stable. Patient, his relatives, talks with the other surgeon, other physicians, and they themselves take a decision whether I will go for surgery, whether we will go for PCI. And sometimes, many cases, their decision is perfect. But that should not be in case of urgent or emergency situation. So there is a multiple study. There is 20 to 30 percent discordance between the heart team approach and opinion with the cardiologist in, the, in Canada, in Europe, and in USA. And in such circumstances, patients become confused. So heart team approach with proper counseling and interaction with the patients, patients, private physicians, means local physicians or patient relatives can minimize this confusion. This is another study that shows for referral patient, there is about 70%. This is the uh, top class center in USA. 17% discordance between the heart team approach and the cardiologist. So this is the comment already uh, Dr. Schumann already uh, mentioned, taken from 2021 uh, AHA ACC guideline, when optimal treatment approach is unclear, heart team approach is must. When patient declined for CABG or recommended treatment, sufficient information from the heart team must be provided to the patient in a written document. In many cases, I have seen that complex PCI in the left main bifurcation, in calcified lesion, lot of blood abrasion, uh, lithotripsy we are doing, with one thing, patient was not agree for surgery, but how many cases patient was approached by heart team? I think many of the cases, patient and patient relative may be convinced if the surgeon and cardiologist collectively approach to the party. So that is very much important. So written document should be taken before doing such a procedure by the cardiologist. And there is observational study that left main, proximal LED, triple vessel disease, double vessels with proximal LED. These are the critical sites where the risk stenosis, stent thrombosis, stent failure is very frequent at the proper size for the surgeon and for referral to the surgery. There are other situations where the heart team approach is also important, especially in complication. I think there is on session. I will not go uh, details in it especially coronary perforation, stent dislodgement, gross dissection, cardiac tamponade in certain situation, and uh, as well as in metal regurgitation after P during PTMC. So with, I like to end with one great comment. One must recognize that heart team is not a rule pre podium. It should be led according to the mutual understanding and shared goal as decided by its members. With this, i like to thank everybody. i like to thank for patient sharing.